Happy Omaversary to all you out there in the land of crypto. Welcome to another episode of Macro Crypto, where on a bi-weekly basis, we discuss both Olympus DAO and Klima DAO and where these protocols are headed for the future. If you do enjoy the content, give us a like, subscribe, and head over to that Twitter page at Macro Crypto Club and give us a follow. Like always, link will be down in the description. And as you can tell, I am not in my normal studio. I am actually out in nature and what a great way to do it for the Klima DAO protocol as well as Olympus. We are out in California visiting my wife's family, but that doesn't stop me from delivering content for you on a bi-weekly basis when it comes to Olympus and Klima DAO. So we're gonna be discussing where we think these projects are headed for the future. As always, very risky plays, but we wanna take away the eyesight away from APY and understand these projects a little bit deeper and why you truly want to be invested in them because what better time than now if we're being honest with you but at the same time none of this information is financial advice and we are here for pure entertainment purposes only you have to understand that these protocols are very risky plays they if you haven't been around within this space understand that they've already seen 97 or 99 percent losses from their all-time highs during this bearish trend and moving forward what i believe is going to take place is if we can get a bull run within the crypto space olympus dow klima dow will use that as a catalyst for both of their protocols but of course we need the crypto market to turn green into the long term so that's yet to be seen we'll kind of see how that ends up playing out we talked about that in previous video but we have started to see some green within the crypto space and in turn we've had a little bit of green ourselves with olympus which we'll start with the olympus protocol price currently at 3607 which about a week and a half ago or eight days ago to be more precise we had a low of 26 or 27 dollars and 22 cents which were up 32 percent since that moment and over the four, last 14 days we're starting to see a little change of the tide so we'll see how this ends up playing out for olympus uh within you know when we revisit this in two weeks are we starting to trend in a different direction we only can stay positive around here and give you a little insight on what this protocol is building currently so olympus checking out the own price over here on their uh, dashboard currently they show 36 dollars and 16 cents the liquid backing is 23 dollars and 43 cents which of course liquid backing is eth and die and then the current index is at a, a little over 104 staked ohm remember that uh, current index is always increasing every single rebase which approximately happens every eight hours so you take the ohm price times that current index which will give you your geome which currently it's just south of four thousand dollars and that is a sight to see though we've seen that dip below three thousand the higher that geome price is whoo the better the returns possibly for the future so we'll keep checking on that and letting you see remember that geome though is that governance tool which is going to be important for what we'll talk about later in this video keep in mind that governance so here is the february revenue for the olympus bonds which also very important in regards to this revenue is that 80 percent of the revenue was actually through stable coins which only is a better um, for liquidity purposes for the treasury so that's great strength for the protocol itself and some other new news that's gonna i'm <laughs> so happy about this because i'm a big uh ethereum believer and an ethereum bull of course olympus being on that uh the ethereum network this is only going to create more stability for the treasury is through rocket pool and lido protocol now the governance itself doesn't allow you to have more than 25 percent of eth that's in the treasury being used for uh, more than 25% into one specific protocol. So that's why there's a discussion both for Rocket Pool and Lido. And if you don't know about either one of those, those are staking pool protocols where basically the Olympus DAO can take their ETH, stake it, and gain more ETH that is in their treasury and add more value and strength to the treasury. Obviously, great news if this comes to fruition, if we have success with 
with that. And then also some alpha, the Olympus Treasury dashboard and wallet manager has been unveiled. It has been discussion that they've kind of give a little bit of drops on what this looks like. But the reason why this is so important and the idea that the Olympus Treasury is that it gives transparency to us all to view and understand what's happening behind the closed doors and where are these funds being allocated. So that way within Treasury, like we just discussed with Rocket Pool and Lido, basically if that ETH goes into one of those pools, what how much ETH are they generating and is it coming back into the treasury? You will be able to see these types of actions and the growth and total value locked within the treasury itself as time progresses. And hey, transparency, especially with the DAO, very important. So some awesome news, the things that are gonna start building out this uh, protocol itself is so verified OMIs, what this is, is basically I am now a citizen of Olympus DAO and so can you. You can always go to their Discord, join it and see if you qualify, if you've owned Olympus. I'm not positive on what uh, the qualifications are, but you can always connect your wallet and if you are staking OM and getting a GOM, whatever the case may be, you might be qualified. So go check that out, go join their Discord, always uh, pushing that to see that for yourself and then what that allows you to do is welcome for your omis you have an omi score and then your proof of omi your omi card and then the proof of fomo with a high emphasis of om fomo right so all these different things will kind of be able to allow the team but more importantly us citizens out there that believe in the om protocol itself to market it out there on twitter or other social media aspects and then as this bull run takes place, hopefully this bull run, right, takes place, then these OMI cards will allow you to show off your gains to family, to friends, but more importantly, market it out there to the public and the, let the awareness start to build for Olympus Dow. And, you know, lifelong 3-3, right? So here we are discussing the different things that are happening with that. You can take those or you can take that Olympus style citizenship and claim your passport through ARCX. Now, I'm not going to get too much into this because I haven't personally done this yet. So I don't fully understand it all the way as this just happened yesterday. Of course, I'm out here on vacation. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little insight on claiming your passport and what their this uh, specific um passport is teaming up with olympus to give you a little insight and maybe in uh our next video out in two weeks i will go further into this and let you know what it represents what it means and what this protocol is trying to do in, in partnership with olympus dow so um you know it's just kind of wanted to give you a little insight of all the things going on with Olympus. Super Bowl is for the future, especially with the price action. Are we starting to see a flip in the trend? Crypto market's going to help carry Olympus Dow into the future as well. So keep a close eye on that. Let's go ahead and move forward into our conversation talking about Klima Dow, the protocol that is taking away those carbon backed assets out in the world and burning them, taking them into the treasury, gone forever. Klima's price is currently sitting at $18.14. Might not be seem like a big move, but it is massive when it was down to $10.69. This is a 68.5% gain in 12 days. So 12 day time, have we seen the bottom for these two protocols? You know, at this point, I'm gonna take anything. If we're being honest with you, there's gotta be a little bit of excitement. We'll see where we're at in two weeks. Are, you know, is this trend continuing is a huge factor. But if we've seen a 68 and a half percent gain, we're gonna take that as a win, right? But here we are understanding that currently the price is at $18.14. Understand that both of these protocols are bleeding terribly in the last four plus months, yes, Olympus Dow over, uh, still down over 97.5%. Klima Dow currently still down 99.5% from its all-time high. But this is uh, all going to change. I think over the next year, we are going to be seeing a change in the crypto market. But use this, most importantly, 
as a tool for understanding the future of these protocols when there is bearish trends. Because guess what? You've lived this once before. So if we start to see some gains within these protocols and really start to explode in price or even get some more rewards, whatever the case may be, understand when there is a bearish trend to allocate or change your funds appropriately that is going to suit your um, crypto portfolio in the best way for you personally so use this knowledge for the future and understanding these protocols because obviously in bearish trends these protocols are going to bleed hard just because they have treasuries that are also built around um the crypto sphere as well especially when we talk about olympus um with eth you know mentioning talking about those those staking rewards and stuff so if eth is going down it's hurting the treasury okay just my opinion we're getting off topic here let's go ahead and get back into klima my apologies everyone just went on a crazy rant there but checking in on klima basically off chain on chain what does klima provide so we check out off chain there's excessive fees the middleman results in unnecessary cost that can get passed on to the buyer uh, lengthy process uh, this lacks transparency it's closed door meetings basically what it feels like what the on chain side of klima provides is the the fees are next to nothing okay there's instant purchases we're talking full transparency because of the blockchain. You know what companies are doing. You can understand that they are trying to become net zero when it comes to carbon offsets or that they're at least paying for these carbon offsets um, in a manner that is beneficial to society. So all those different things uh, the blockchain is gonna provide and that's where we're headed with this protocol. This is basically the love letter to the planet. This is uh, beta testing, but what this is also gonna be is onto the blockchain itself providing a love note to the climate because that's what climates are for right we're trying to clean up energy around the world and here is the first love note forged in the hope we may preserve this blue planet and its inhabitants and a little bit of a video let's go ahead and play it for you words are powerful each one has the potential to leave a lasting impression on this earth not only through their meaning but also through the carbon we inherently release each time we utter a single word. The need to choose one's words as if for a love letter has never been more crucial. With Klimadao, your words can now work towards achieving sustainability. The act of love you're providing for the planet is reducing the amount of carbon being released into the atmosphere. When you retire carbon as a climate, you have the opportunity to use your words to create a better future. Words that will live eternally on the blockchain as proof of love for the world we share. With KlimaDAO, your love can help empower a better tomorrow. What will your love note say? So I think it's going to be super impactful for when companies start to utilize KlimaDAO and the protocol itself. And also some things I just want to touch on. Obviously, this has been featured in Forbes, Wired, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, Yahoo Finance, The Times, NASDAQ, Cointelegraph. It's starting to take place. We're starting to see a change happen. So if there is a better time to get yourself involved in a protocol like Klima, there is none better than right now in my opinion obviously do not take that as any financial advice like we've always discussed but here we are checking out the kip 17 this is basically a delicate for retirement aggregate uh, aggregators uh basically allowing for uh offsets to be retired in an efficient manner is basically what this comes down to and that was passed handedly uh as you can tell over 97 percent which is what is needed okay so this is a type of thing that uh needs to happen so that way th there doesn't need to be a vote every time a carbon retirement needs to take place and then also some other news out there there was a motor dow that was created this is a global motorsports community dow which is in partnership with klima so that's why we brought this up where that takes us not positive not sure but it is some news that uh this is out of florida within the united states and creating a little bit of a motor sports uh, DAO that has partnerships for carbon backed assets, positive sign. Then also do want to talk about, uh, I will put this link in the description below of our video because I think it's important to understand what a DAO is, the decentralized autonomous organizations and this trust structure behind Klima DAO. Now, 
I'm not going to go through all of this. Of course, this is for you to read if you want to check out the link that I'll provide. But one of the um, parts I will read are quotes from uh, Vitalik Buterin, uh, the uh, co-creator of Ethereum, back in the white paper, defined a DAO as a... Uh, virtual entity that has a certain set of members or shareholders which have the right to spend the entity's funds and modify its code this is to aim a replicate or is to replicate the legal trappings of a traditional company or nonprofit but using cryptographic blockchain technology for enforcement so you want to check out further understand what a dao is and the potentials of what dao uh, DAOs can create into the future. If you're a non-believer in DAO, I s highly recommend reading this article, further getting a grasp and understanding of why DAOs are so important for the future. Now, the vision of a carbon currency, here's another article, obviously not going to read it all, but going to give you a little bit of insight and then we will put this into the link below as well. But the vision of a carbon currency has become clear over the past several years that we as humans have placed ourselves in a bind. In, uh, industrial activity is instrumental to economic growth. It's necessary for producing food, electricity, and other commodities needed to improve the standard of living for billions of people around the world. Unfortunately, the same industrial activity um, through the effects of the climate is eroding those standards of living and is set to cost us trillions of dollars. We've written elsewhere about the urgent specter of climate change, CO2 emissions, current proposed solutions, and the inadequate implementation. We've also written about climate DAO's uh, role in solving the short-term crisis, helping to reach the goal of a net zero emissions in the next few decades. In this article, we are going to take a step, to, uh, step back to discuss a different set of questions. How did the global approach to economics lead us to this point? And how does ClimaDAO represent a new way of thinking about economic value what can help us to provide these kinds of crises in the future what makes uh what markets fail to account for i'll let you kind of dive in deeper into that article get you a further understanding on a carbon currency and how climadal fits into that picture because it's going to be massive and that's of course my opinion does it come to fruition? Your guess is as good as mine, but I'm t I have a stake in it. That's why we discuss it on a uh, bi-weekly basis because I'm just trying to get a little understanding out there for everyone to further grasp what this protocol is trying to do, especially on the, um, within uh, Olympus as well as a reserve currency. So when it comes to Klima, you I'm sure you've heard with Bitcoin trying to become more sustainable when it comes to mining. I think there's gonna be a connection at the end of the day with all these carbon or the carbon currency talk into some of the sustainability through bitcoin mining now where that correlation takes place i'm not sure yet but we'll share that when we figure it out but it's just kind of some uh food for thought for you out there i really do hope you enjoy the video every single uh or on a bi-weekly basis you can expect us to discuss both klima and olympus dow so i hope you enjoy the content as always everybody until next time Peace.